With a massive scandal behind them, the community rallies around the Marion County Warriors football team today. Friends, family, even rivals joined in a rally to see them off as they head off to Trousdale County for tonight's game. And it was a heartfelt show of support for a group of boys who've had a lot to overcome this week. News Channel 9's John Madewell attended the rally in Jasperstown Square today, and he joins us now live. Good evening, John. Good evening, Kim and Calvin. It definitely was heartfelt, and you can still feel the spirit here. The purple decorations are still up, but the Jasper Town Square is quiet now. But this afternoon, it was very loud, and they were cheering on the Warriors all across the county, even from rival corners. I get all dressed up for my Warriors. From the smallest Yorkie to the biggest fans, Marion County turned out. A scandal allegedly brought on by four former coaches gripped this team over the past two weeks, but they've moved on. The road to Trousdale County lies ahead. Football is huge here, but another strand of emotion rings true today. The community knows the innocent players have been hurt and need support. When they suffer, we suffer. When we suffer, they suffer. That's just the way we are. Even cross-county rival Whitwell sent their cheerleading squad. This year we felt like they needed some extra support, so we decided to bring our cheerleaders down here. Well, we're going to lay our differences aside today and say, go Warriors. That gesture moved the crowd, especially the wife of Marion County's principal. That is amazing, and that just shows you we are a football town, and we love our rivalries because it makes for some really good football, but when, when things get rough in this community, our county pulls together, and we are united all the way through. And then the moment everyone has waited for arrives. In Kimball, members of arch rival South Pitts football team gave a shout out. Remember, the Pirates were the indirect victims in the vandalism scandal. We know it wasn't them. We know it was their coaches and they acted wrong, but I mean, it wasn't their fault. They didn't have any hand in it, so why not cheer for them? And that's what happened here today. Many people did cheer for the Warriors. Now they are facing an undefeated Trousdale County. And last year, Marion County beat them, so the players are aware that there may be a payback factor in the works. However, many of the people here told us today they're going to the game. They're hoping for a win to end this season on an upbeat note. Reporting live from Jasper, I'm John Madewell for News Channel 9. Now back to you.